begins with what Horuchni. We are in middle of upper parentheses and in general what we are discussing is this very fine distinction to which we can only point, we cannot really explain what it is, but a, a, a distinction between the, the, uh, the Atzim and the Atzmus HaChochmi. And Chochmi is also Atzmus. And it's Helen, which means it is there um, in an essential state. And yet, there's a difference between the way the Yonim are in the Etzim and the way they are in the Nechoch. And it says over here in this parenthesis <coughs> that this is what we had, but it is, is being expressed elsewhere, that Chochma the Attic is called Sechul Mufla. And what does Mufla mean? Mufla means remote. And the, the last thing that we that said was that that this is and, and the way it's Sechul, that the Chochma the Attic is Mufla from Sechul from Chochma the Atzilus. This half law is similar to the half law, what's called the, 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 the distance between Mehuz Horuchni and Sechel Anushi. <coughs> Pardon me. Sechel Anushi, we speak about it all the time. We are the, the Sechel is actually expressing what a human being is. Which means that there is a subject and then there is the, the Sechel that descri describes the subject. The the fact that 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 this is a human being, and therefore his seichel understands and sees things this way, are two separate entities. One is definitely the direct cause of the other, but the fact that he's a human being is is a much is a, is a, a, a much truer, much superior element than the fact that his seichel understands things in a certain way. But this is seichel and then there is the mahus ham a, a mahus ruchni. A mahus ruchni, mahus ruchni means that its whole mitzvah, its whole presence is a ruchni. It does not require anything to hold it up. It is, it, it is present because of its own reality. What's mean Mahus Ruchni? So Mahus Ruchni, as compared to Sechel Anushi, is a very big distance. Sechel Anushi is only substantiated by his being, by his human qualities. It is not the human quality itself, whereas Mahus Ruchni is, is a truth in it. A similar in it says that say that Chochman the Attic compared to Chochman the Atzilus. Sechel Mufla. 
that Chochmah the Atik, this is like the Mahus Ruchni. It is true unto itself. Chochmah the Atzilus, and we said Atzilus, this is already, there is Kalim. Why are they Kalim? Because there is, there is um, a, 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 a presence that, so to speak, needs a Kalim. Otherwise, it would not stay where it is. Because it is, it has a mitzvah element. All right. So we are on the line that begins with what Haruchni, and and it's a quarter from the panel page. Art. Right. It's this last thing you said that, um, that I didn't understand this. Uh, Don't worry about it. It's just the last piece. The mitzvah is um, the, the, the It's a presence that. Um, it has a Kaylee, but it's showing on what kind of presence it is. <coughs> leave it alone, leave it alone. The God of Mashiach said, by Mashiach it says, in the Yaskil Avdi. It's the apostate by the God of behold, Yaskil Avdi, my servant. Yaskil will comprehend and then he continues on and he says and he will rise very high and what is this in that Mashiach will represent this that by Mashiach there is going to be the the full revelation of that begin of pnimius atik. This we say that that chokhmo pnimius abba we learned we we discussed yet pnimius abba pnimius atik. It's brought down very briefly. The pnimius abba pnimius atik. But there is a distinction. There's a difference between the way the sinian is in abba in chokhmo and the way the sinian is in atik. But Moshiach will be gilu begin as pnimius atik. That the beginning of Pnimi Satik will actually be beginning. So the Inyan, which is points to the principle, the Inyan that that it says that she Nishomes Achadoshes she Yiyolos, the new Nishomes, the novel Nishomes that will be Leosi, but of a completely different, different level of Nishomes. And as it is written in the Teira, at the end, in the section of that is Mevaya, that explains the Maimah, the he, the Kikashara Shomai Machadosh. The Maimah is based on Shomai Machadosh, the new, the new firmament. Okay, so, so Actually, the suggestion over here on the, on the bottom of the page that this is the end of the parentheses. So, therefore, it would behoove us now to go right before the parentheses. Right before the parentheses, we'll start from the line before that. We said, the Atik, the way the Chochmi is in Atik, who bebchines loyoda mamosh. It has it has at that level a liodam mamash. Literally, it cannot be known. Vef shalagia cloud, and it is not possible to reach to to reach to, to reach to this and to uh, be able to identify the chokma that the way it is an attic. And then we go down to at the end of this parenthesis. Okmei shebo bebchines ha chokma, and but then as this. Inyan is Bob Ebkin Sachochmo comes in uh, comes down to be uh, uh, to be contained and 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 uh, manifest in the Chochmo manner. It is, it is ultimately Mikomo means ultimately. It's not a, a readily available uh, concept. But mikomokoim is still there is ultimately there is the ability to get to it and to have 
um, a, 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 a grasp and understanding of that Chochmah. Although it says in Priyat Chaim, the Cholam, Shochis, the Achshov, that all revelations that are taking place now, Hein Rak, Mechitzoin, is the Atik. They are, they are only, only coming from Chitzoin, is of Atik, not from Pnimis. Abba begins Pnimis Abba, but the Pnimis Abba, Shuhu Pnimis Atik, which is the Pnimis of Atik, Yom Shekhle Osid, will first be drawn in the future. And we are saying, we were saying that Pnimis Abba, Pnimis Atik, and now Pnimis Abba, the Atzimus, Yeshleimar, the Le Osid, Yi Yezem, Beginus Amshocha Mamash, Beginus Seir, Bekele. The difference is that Le Osid, this will be a full-fledged Hamshocha Eir and Keira V'Achshov but now there is also this Pnimis Atik but now the Hamshocha is Bebchinas Shlilo that which you can have um, a relationship to Pnimis Atik is only Bebchinas Shlilo is only in a in the negation manner meaning Understanding from in a contrast, this is not it, but not directly identifying it. Kmoi alidei mitzvahs loisase, like that which we can relate to mitzvahs loisase. Mitzvahs loisase, mitzvahs asay, mitzvahs asay, positive mitzvah has a direct message. Mitzvah Sloisase is um, the, 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 the gilu that comes from Mitzvah Sloisase is indirect. As it said, the Shmi im Yudke Shasa. That Shasa refers to Shin Samahay Mitzvah Sloisase. That the Mitzvah Sloisase, they relate to Yudke, which is the the upper part of Shemavai. I know Bechines Pnim is Achochmo, or Pnim is Abino, Shem Pnim is Atik. That the Loisa said that relates to the Pnim is of Atik, not the Chitzenis. The Amshocha Zu, this kind of Amshocha that comes through Mitzvah Loisa said, who she nim shem bederek mamele? That is, is something that is that comes bederek mamele, that comes automatically. Loishe mamshichim zeh, not that you draw it. In other words, this is not something that you that we are capable of grasping it and and bring it down. It is just that you are eliminating obstacles and then it's nimshich. But but to relate to it directly is not possible. It's possible makimache. However, we just ask, say, we just lay As I explained elsewhere, the difference between we just ask, we just lay us. Avo mikomokoim. But nevertheless, even so, magim loze alidei hashlilo dulei zase. You can reach into this the way it is in Chochmo. by this negative negation of lasers. Therefore, some way you can reach into it. <coughs> you can recognize it. Therefore, we see Hagam, Shazel, Bechinas, Nimis, Atik, Mamush. That although this is truly Nimis, Atik, the Komo coin, still a Noidoima, Kmeshu, Bechinas, Atik. It's not exactly the same. It's not to be compared the way it is in the attic. Relative to the way when it is 
when it comes to Bechinus Chochma in the Bechinus of Chochma. Even though, as we said before, that this Bechinus Chochma, this is Pnimis, Abu Pnimis At. Dug Moloze. Huh? An example of. Uh, the, the, the example for that is in the union of. Uh, uh, in other words, to distinguish between the way the same union is on Epnemius and the way it is on Gilgit. Chochma and 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 Einik. And the similar Indian is like this: Who may be bechinas hadas? As this, um, as we understand the different, the, the principle of das. In Das, who bechinas pnimi is a keser. Das is the bechina. It actually points to pnimi is a keser. I'll go through a couple of lines and then uh, we'll discuss it a little bit. Uh, as it says in Chaim, nimna ein adas nim. We say that there are ten spheres. So normally there is chokma bin adas. It says, but if you're going to start counting from keser, then you will skip das. Shakeser nimna when keser is included in the count. Then Eina Das Nimna, then Das is not counted. Ukshein Hakeser, and there is a word missing, Ukshein Hakeser Nimna, when the Keser is not included in your count, when you start your count from Chochma, Oz Hadas Nimna, then the Das is counted. The Yodua, in, in explaining this, understanding this, it's Chayim. <coughs> It is known the Masha in Akesen Nimna that when we say that the Keser is not Nimna, whole Bechinas Pnimi is Akesen. This is the Pnimi of the Keser. Because of it's Chaim, Shamamalape the Gimu. The Oz Hadas Nimna. So when the Keser is not Nimna, because the Pnimi is Akesen, is not, is not um, uh, included, <coughs> which means you, um, you don't recognize it. So then the das is nimna. Areshe hadas hu kmei pnim is akesa. Therefore we see from that that these two, das and kesa, are interchangeable. Das takes the place of kesa. Therefore we see that the das hu kmei pnim is akesa. It would be redundant to count das if you count pnim is akesa. And we call yet still, Pnimis ha keser ain in nimna be minin ha spirit wa das nimna. And yet still there is a difference. Pnimis ha keser is not considered in the count of spheres. As we said many times that spheres we count from Chochmaot. And das is an, um, a part of the normal count of spheres. And why is that? Even though Das and Keser, this is the identical Indian. It's the identical Indian, still the different way it is in its source and the way it is in 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 Gilgit. Perhaps we'll take a few moments and um, and uh, discuss this a little bit. <coughs>
And the word das means, in translation, knowledge. But we always point out, this is not knowledge in the common sense of the word, I know such and such. I learned about it, and therefore I know it. That it does it refers to a much deeper, a much more significant element of knowledge, if you would call it. Like when you refer to a, a person, a responsible person, you refer to him as a bardas. What is this influence of the bardas? This bardas influence is not really describing any particular information, knowledge that this person possesses. A bardas refers to the the principal recognition that this person has of the significance of life and significance of all of all activities in life through the bardas. That when it comes to doing something, he will always consider first. Should it be done? Should it not be done? And if yes, how should it be done? Then one who is lacking das, he his response is spontaneous. It, it, it just falls right into the situation. <clears throat> Bar das has a has a, a, a much more real, much broader perspective, perception of what's going on. Ultimately, we discussed it yesterday and we discussed it the whole time. What is the union of Seichel? And let I me mean, say the Re'iyo, Chochmah, Like we said before, the term of Mahus Ruchni. It is the cognizance that the, that the, and, and the cognizance of a reality that does not need to hit you over the head in order for you to recognize it. On the contrary, what hits you over the head? Something that is not omnipresent. Like I said, how do you feel the table? Because the table exists in a certain place. Das relates to that which is omnipresent, the fundamental reality. What is existence all about? What is life all about? Is life about what I experience, my vacation, or my, or, or the good food, now it's something of an experiential manner, something that is that comes by experience, but comes with by periodical relation, or something that has a a a constancy, a reality, a constant reality. This constant reality just as we always point out, that you grasp the table because of its of its boundaries, because of its limits. This kind of reality has no limits and you can't really grasp it. You can't really grasp it. There's no grasp. It. This is the meaning of bad dance. This is a sensitive he, he, he's cognizant. 
of a of a reality you can grasp it. There's nothing to grasp there because this is this is this is the the mahus ruchni. This is the mahus of of, of emes. Anything in the world, anything that develops in a worldly manner does not lend itself to das. It's a mitzvah. It has a certain function and it works in a certain way and that's it. Das, when you said das and keser are interchangeable. What's keser? Keser is is above the chok. Keser is like a crown. Keser is that which is all encompassing. Keser is that which provides for for a. Uh, a, a cognizance of of of, of, the self, of the real meaning, of real fundamental reality. Why would one apply seichel to decide which way to do things? The right way or the wrong way? Why is there a right way and there a wrong way? Just go and do it. Why is there a right way in, in a human level to tell them? They always say, why is there a right way how to eat and how to behave? Why is there a right way? You suppose you want to accomplish something, you want to stop the food down your throat, stop it down as far as the difference how. Ultimately, it will end up in, in the same place. There's a right way to eat and a wrong way to eat. What is that about? This is not about eating. This is not even about the human being. This is the human sensitivity to the broader reality. This is what the human being is. The human being is, he represents the greater truth, not just himself. He is sensitive to where he is, whose world he's in. How does your behavior correlate to the to the environment, to the truth? That's what human being is judging. Echo Bashuk he eats in the market, he eats in the street. So what's so terrible about that? The food is the same, what's so terrible? It's not suitable because this is insulting to the overall environment. It's not even the, the human being himself. This is the Kesser and this is the Das. This is about Das, to be continued in this show. This is it for this morning. Yeah. I thought the five minutes would be enough, but I guess it's not. Yeah. Five minutes to... Have a good day. Yes. It sounds exactly like the mirror of Seichel and how Seichel is the mice when we speak about seichel we speak about the truth of the nefesh and that this mice is looking the truth of the nefesh and this beer of das and kesser we're speaking that the truth of the nefesh gufe is something that's out, that's encompassing that's beyond the nefesh is it, that's the, that's the difference that i'm hearing is that is that the difference that we're emphasizing I didn't exactly follow what you said, what you want to say. Kesir, the Kesir of the Nefesh is where the Nefesh is one with the Lakus. Is that what you mean to say? By Seichel, we say, what Seichel? So in Chochma is Meir the Oyer. And then we, we act, the, the human being relates to a particular Maiser 
because it fits his truth. Yes. That's the in your safe. Well, the seichel, that's what I'm saying, the seichel there is, is das, the das, and the das, this is where the truth is sensed. The seichel simply say this is the right way. Where is the, the sense of it? What makes it right? That's in the hide of the seichel. 